Hello, it's Crafty Rhea. I am so glad you are joining me today for another video. Today I'm going to be recycling this thank you card. Please stick around to the end of the video because I am going to be telling you who this thank you card is for. It is pretty exciting and I'm happy to be able to share that with you. So you'll want to stick around, watch all the way through to the end. This card is a card front that I got as a free sample from this website here. You can see that. They might still have free samples if you go and check them out. Um, I think I asked for their catalog and free samples and this is one of the cards that I got and of course I can't let it go to waste so I'm going to go ahead and recycle it into a new card today. This says there is no time more appropriate to say thank you. I just want to use the thank you part and the image so uh, stick with me and I'll show you how we hide that one line. I'm going to make this card a 5x7 and I will use a yellow 5x7 card base because I thought it went really good with the yellow. And I wanted to mat it on something really cool. This is this metallic paper. I don't know if you can see the shimmer. I got it from BB Craft. So I went ahead and already cut that piece down an eighth of an inch smaller. So it's four and seven eighths by... Um, six and seven eighths. So it just shows just a little bit of that yellow as a border. So then I also wanna cut this card down to go on, to go on here. And I want this piece to be intact. So I don't mind if I cut off a little bit of this end and then a little bit of the top. I think it would still look good and it won't lose too much. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it over like this and I'm going to measure on the back where I want to cut. I'm going to use a bright colored pen. This is purple of course, the best color. And I'm just going to mark, make a little mark right about there and a mark right about there so I can measure. And that way this keeps this bottom corner of the card intact. I'm gonna be using some embellishments that I got in this embellishment box. So I'll set that aside. And I will get my paper cutter. This is from We Are Memory Keepers. I got it from Amazon. I'm not sure if Amazon still has it. Someone had asked me about it. And when I looked, they were out of stock. So I may have removed the link from below, but I'll check on it again. And if it's available, I'll post the link below. It's a great little paper cutter. I really like it. And that's how that looks on that base and then on the yellow. I think just that little tiny bit of yellow on the end edge really does make it pop. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and work on this front piece. I do wanna cover up this line that says, um, there is no time more appropriate to say. And I have these this really pretty trim. It is these fall leaves that came in that embellishment box. I was playing around with it before and I think it just looks really, really great if it just lines that and you cannot see then the words below it at all, the words underneath it. You might get a little bit of gold sparkling come through, which that's fine because that is a gold metallic. There you go. So for this, since it is rather narrow, I'm going to use this score tape. It is an eighth of an inch. And I'm just going to put a piece down right over those words. And 
and then I will peel the ed edging off, the backing I mean. I'm looking at the leaves, okay, there is a front and a back. So this is the front with the texture on it. I don't know if you can see it very well on the camera. You'll see it pretty good once I get it down on the card. There we go. Get my scissors. I'm gonna cut one leaf away. That way I have just a little bit on each side to turn under just so it's a clean edge. I'm gonna put a little bit of this tape on the back here. I folded the tape over on the other side so the leaf would stick, but I didn't on both sides. So that's how it looks. You can't really tell that there were words there, but there is a little bit of sparkle behind it, which I think is really a cool effect. So then I'm going to go ahead and adhere that down on this. I really like the way those leaves make it look. It gives a bunch of um, dimension to it, yet you can still see the whole photo. There we go. Super easy, super simple, but yet so pretty. A lot of the times when we recycle cards, the card itself is so pretty and you don't have to do a whole lot to it. Let the paper do the work, as they say. In this case, I'm letting the card do the work. And I'm just adding just a little bit of extra oomph to it. There we go. And there we have that. I picked out a couple other embellishments that I thought would look really cute on here just to add a little something down in this corner. I picked out this gorgeous pumpkin with the little gem at the top and I thought he would go kind of good like right there in the corner and this little flower that could kind of just go next to it. So I'm just going to set those down on there. And this is a 3D pumpkin. It's in two pieces, plus it has that 3D backing. I'm just going to set it just like that. And this little flower's got a little bit of bling on it. And I'm just going to put it right up next to the pumpkin, right under those leaves. And I think that is all I'm going to do to this card. The scene is so pretty there's not much I could do to it without making it look tacky and then those leaves are so pretty with the pumpkin and the flower. That is really good and by covering up those other words the word thank you just stands out. I really like that. So now I want to tell you about who this card is for. This card is for you, every single one of my viewers and my subscribers. I wanna thank all of you for watching my videos, hanging out with me, leaving me wonderful comments, and helping me grow my channel. Some of you may have already known, but I was featured in the newspaper in the Chillicothe Gazette, that's our local newspaper. It was a really, really nice write-up um, I had a phone interview with the reporter, her name is Toria, 
and my husband took the picture of me sitting holding a card and some other pictures and um, I sent them to her due to the circumstances I didn't think it was a good idea to have a real photographer come out to the house she wrote up a wonderful article I will link it below and um, I'm just very humbled by the whole thing I had no idea when I started doing these card videos and recycling Christmas cards that I'd have almost 1,500 subscribers. It is unbelievable. But I do want to thank all of you because I wouldn't be here doing this if it weren't for you and your wonderful comments and just all the support has been just awesome. Whether you're brand new to my channel or you've been here since day one, I appreciate you and I do thank you. So I will link the, I will put the link to the article below so you can check it out and then you can also get a glimpse of Crafty Rhea since I never show my face on the camera so anyway I do want to thank you for watching and really let you know how much I appreciate you and until the next video you know what to do go get crafting bye bye